Yeah, so I'm wearing an old lady's hat that I found at Goodwill. What you gonna fucking do about it, bitches? Nothing! Cause I'm a badass motherfucker and you wouldn't even fuck with me if you could. Which you can't, cause I'm too badass. Oh yeah, <laughs> Westboro Baptist Church founder and the king of the homophobes, Fred Phelps, is dead. Oh, so tragic that he's gone. I'm contractually obligated as a loudmouthed internet personality to react to this situation. My main reaction at the moment is kind of a, you know, I don't know, what would it be? Something like, yes, she's fucking dead. <laughs> the only thing that keeps popping into my head when I think about his dead, bloated corpse, other than, you know, the laughter, is um, throw him into the sewer so that he can languish with the rest of the fucking turds. How about that for a fucking eulogy, huh? All joking aside, I'm glad that the guy is dead and I hope he suffered. And you know, there's actually pretty strong rumors that he was excommunicated from the Westboro Baptist Church shortly before his death, which I find kind of funny in an ironic way because he founded a hate group and they became so hateful that they hated even him, their leader, their founder. Isn't that great? And that means that you know, he died estranged from a lot of the people that he'd spent his whole life with, which is to say that he died alone, which makes me happy. Not everyone is taking my petty approach to his death, however. It seems like a lot of the comments on the Huffington Post article express uh, forgiveness and pity towards Phelps. He is gone now. Let his hate go with him. It serves nothing to come down to his level. Dear Fred Phelps, I hope you now finally find peace within yourself. Rest peacefully. Love a lesbian. After serving in the army for six years and seeing some of the funerals of those who I served with being picketed under his guidance, I was always so angry at this man. I had so many hateful thoughts towards him, but at the end of the day, he was just a person, same as you and I. I will never agree with his outlook and ways of going about things, but I will never descend to the level that his followers practice by smearing the name of the dead. For who am I to judge? May he he rest in the peace that he surely wasn't able to find in his lifetime. All I ask is that we show that we are better people by not posting comments that are negative or anyone saying he deserved it. Even Mr. Sulu, the very openly gay George Takai, took the high road by saying, Today, Mr. Phelps may have learned that God, in fact, hates no one. Vicious and hate-filled as he was, may his soul find the kind of peace through death that was so plainly elusive during his life. I can understand why a lot of people want to take the high road in this case. It seems to me like a lot of people are afraid that if they find joy in Fred Phelps' death, then they are no better than he was. Let me assuage whatever guilt you might feel by reminding you that Fred Phelps was a bigot who treated his fellow human beings with nothing but cruelty. His church believes that America is a nation of fag enablers and that everything bad that happens in America is due to God's wrath. God is angry at America because America is too soft on the gays. It was this philosophy that led him and his posse of psychos to picket the funerals of soldiers and shooting victims and pretty much any celebrity of note that has died in the last few years. Do you know what that means? That means that this is a group of people who, when they see a grieving family, their, their instinct is not leave that family alone to mourn. Their instinct is not let's help that family uh, with their suffering. Let's try to alleviate the pain that they feel because they've just lost loved ones. Their reaction is, let's try to dig the knife in a little and twist it. Let's try to enhance their grief. Let's try to make the family suffer more to further our regressive, misguided agenda. And they do these horrible things because they believe that the creator of the entire universe is supremely concerned with what a bunch of primates on a backwater fleck of dust floating somewhere in the great cosmic expanse do with their fucking genitalia. How absurd is that upon any level of reflection? Very. 
I personally do not see anything wrong with hating Fred Phelps. I don't see anything wrong with taking joy in the fact that we no longer have to share a planet with that bigoted piece of useless subhuman fucking garbage. Some people want to take it a step further and actually picket Fred's funeral. I would never picket his funeral because to me that would be too much of an acknowledgement of the fact that he ever even existed in the first place. You know how I'm going to commemorate his death? The next time I take a shit, I'm going to I'm going to sit up before I even wipe my ass. I'm going to sit up and I'm going to look down at the turds in the bowl and I'm going to say, "Goodbye, Fred," and I'm going to fucking flush him away. And that will be the last time I ever even think about the name Fred Phelps. Good fucking riddance and cheers. Oh yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it, comment on it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. And be sure to check out all the neat links in the description section to follow me on social media sites like Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram. Also, I'm selling a book, I'm selling t-shirts, I'm selling all kinds of nonsense. Get down there and check it out yourselves.